another video my name is ivy and this is boo bougie and yeah if you happen upon this channel <laughs> go ahead and push the button girl you know you want to push the button yes over here we talk about women empowerment we talk about looking good we talk about feeling good yes no judgment zone look i got on a pair of house shoes with one sock ain't no judgment zone over here so I like to say to you, because we call things that be not as though they were. Hey, boo. And for my returning subscribers, girl, y'all don't even got to ask. Y'all don't got to think. Y'all don't got to guess. Y'all don't got to wonder. Because <laughs> y'all know y'all my boos. Hey, boo. So, okay. We're going to get into this video. Now, this is going to be a little chit-chat, a little get ready with me. Mother and these hot flashes. <laughs> if y'all know, y'all know. Girl, ooh, I'm so fine. So I'm just going to put on a little stuff that I put on. I wanted to show y'all my mirror. I think I told y'all about it. My friend had this mirror. Um, I had already had mine, but I just so happened to go to her house, and she had one, and hers was black, and mine would not work. Y'all know I got it from the Goodwill. Why you asking where I got it from? Y'all already know. <laughs> yeah, that part. So anyway, I got it from the Goodwill. It was like $2. And I was so excited. Went to the dollar store, the dollar twenty-five store. Got me some new batteries. Because they take batteries up here and down here. And it's flexible. So I wanted to go ahead and today our conversation. Anyway, I put a cord on it. It only works with the cord. So I wanted to sit down and I wanted to talk to you ladies um i don't want to get any grease on this because we got something else coming up for you ladies you, you know i look I, I i keep it moving over here okay so today i want to have a conversation from me to my little girl and i'm not talking about my daughter ladies i'm talking about the little girl inside of all of us yes her the one that didn't believe she could, can't believe she can, and just think it's no hope. And I'm not talking about clothes. I'm not talking about jewelry. I'm not talking about fashion. I'm just talking about, I want to have a conversation with that little girl. So this is sort of a get ready with me <laughs> to make a t-shirt. We ain't going nowhere. I got on a t-shirt. It says, when life gives you lemons, trade them for coffee. Because y'all know I'm a coffee girl. I done drunk my iced coffee. I made some and I chowed on something I had from dinner uh, last night. Uh, but I got some uh, juice right here, some pear juice. So, um, I don't have anything on my face. Just a little, um, a little, um, in layman's term, grease. Okay. That girl, bye. So, I did put my little product in my hair. So it's nothing really to tell right there, but just want to comb this out a little bit. I told you my daughter said, Mom, why you got that pink? I don't know. I like it. I, I like it. I told her, girl, you don't stay out of grown folks' business. But, okay, so I remember being a young girl, and I remember my mom not really having... Um, you know, she didn't have money the way, you know, some people, parents had money. I remember this girl that went to school with us. Uh, her name was Yolanda. I cannot think of her last name. I probably was about in eighth grade, so that was eons ago. But she had, um, I didn't know she had one leg. So one day, we were talking on the bus, and her uncle was the uh, bus aide. 
you know, the person that's on the bus with you to keep all y'all rowdy kids in line. Yeah, yeah. So she invited me over to um, her house after school. And so I went over there and I was so amazed. I'm like, girls my age have stuff like this. I knew she was, um, I knew she dressed nice. Um, nice girl, nice personality. I knew all those things about her. But I tell you when she opened up her world and let me in, um, and not even let me in her world to be braggadocious or anything like that, we were building a, a friendship. And I, she moved and we lost track. But um, yeah, her closet was full to the brim. All kinds of clothes. And back then, uh, Jordash and Sassoon's were out. And uh, she had like just jeans and jeans and jeans. And I don't know how the conversation got started, but um, it's a moral to the story too, ladies. All right. This is some good old uh, lip gloss. Okay, it's a matte. And what I usually do is I usually just put a gloss over it. So I get the matte to where I want it. And uh, sometimes I have to wipe and wipe and wipe just to get it off or either put more on. And so anyway, uh, I don't know how we got on a topic of her having an artificial leg. And so I never understood why girls, even girls uh, my generation around where I live, used to put that lip liner around their lips. It just don't look right on me. <laughs> y'all do what y'all do. This is the end. Girl, I got to go because I bought like 10. And I had this since last year. I don't know if it's an expiration date on it. <laughs> and I don't care. So anyway, we got to talking about um, her having an artificial leg. She lived with her father. I believe I, I believe her mother had, um, had, you know, transitioned. She had passed away. So uh, you, you got to imagine we're like, 13, 14 at this time. And um, however we got on the conversation with her having one leg, we got on the conversation. And I was in awe. And that was like the turning point for me. It wasn't her clothes in the closet. It wasn't all her shoes. I mean, I already knew she could dress because we went to the same school, grammar school. And so when I tell you the turning point for me for believing in myself, not for anybody else to validate me. My father had passed when I was 13. Um, so that was devastating in itself. Um, not having that, that male role model. And I remember maybe the last time I was supposed to get a whooping because my mama believed in whooping. <laughs> yes, she did. So I remember the last time I was supposed to get a whooping, he stopped her. And he was like, because they called my mother Trisha Ann. And he was like, Trisha Ann, don't whoop her. Just talk to her. I was being fast. I was on the bike with this boy. And my mama was looking for me, her and my daddy. They weren't together. He married my stepmama, Helen, sweetie pie. Okay. And, um, they begot some more kids. So I have some more brothers and sisters. So anyway, um, that was the, the, the turning point for me. Like, you still walk with your head up. And for the life of me, I can't remember if she said she was born like that or something happened to her. I think she said she was born like that. I didn't know her very long. But anyway, it was like, you can just strut. I knew she had a limp. I didn't know what was wrong with her. You know, this is like our early stages of meeting each other and just yakking on the bus, what girls do, you know. And she was like, you want to come over? And I was like, yeah. You know. And I remember, I could see inside her bedroom right now. And out of all of that, it, it's, it's, it's a saying in, a, in, a, in the book that I read in the Word that says, with all you'll get and get an understanding. And I was sitting and I was wrestling today because I, I went to the doctor today. I had my appointment with my job doctor. And I'm still off of work, but they gave me two shots in, uh, in my bum bum. And I tell you, I came down here, I might have came down here twice. 
and tried to do this video and I just couldn't. It, who was that? Ju I don't want to say her name wrong. Jemiah, Jemima, Jemiah. This girl on YouTube, she is so funny. <laughs> that thing had me in a chokehold. She say that all the time. And so, um, yeah, I don't know whatever happened with our friendship. Like I said, we were in eighth grade. Uh, she did end up moving. Well, that's what happened with our friendship. She ended up moving away. And um, it was her and her little sister. And I believe she lived with her father. But that gave me the confidence. It started me on the path of confidence. Let me say that. Um, you know, because a lot of uh, little girls, sometimes you don't get what you think you need to feel secure as a little girl that you measure up to everybody else. And I was one of them little girls. I tell y'all all the time, I thought my lips was too big. I thought my skin tone was too dark, even though people tell me I'm light, but okay. Um, my hair wasn't long enough. It was just things that I judged my insides by other people outside. And I was stuck for a long time. And so, girl, this is about the most makeup I do, honey. So this little portion of the video is going to be real quick. And when I got this, girl, I need to get my glasses. I'm not going to tell you this is purple. I don't know where I got it because I actually had it. I've had it for a long time. And this is Maybelline. So, <laughs> mixing your highs with your lows. Maybelline, family dollar. So, I don't know where... Uh, I don't know where she ended up moving. I've never seen her again. Um, I can't remember if she moved out of state. I, you know, I just, I can't remember, you know. But, um, yeah. Like, be content with where you're at. Now, I still had a lot of issues growing up. Um, but I to say to that little girl, it's all right. I just got to get all right with it, you know. And so, now, here go the moral of this story, ladies. Number one, <clears throat> little girls, young women, <clears throat> women my age. Yeah, we don't got no, no cloth and all that. We, a towel. You get what you get. I'm going to use 100 paper towels. Okay. I am sweating my butt off. I want to open my um, door right here, but... um. I don't want all them bugs to come in. Y'all seen that fashion show? It is nothing but forest behind me. Um, the moral of this story is to be content in your own skin. You know, it's always going to be something that we feel like we need to change. We need to address. We need to enhance. <clears throat> Whether it's wearing makeup, foundation, putting weave in, getting lip injections, getting... It's, you know what? I thought my lips were so big growing up. It is people paying right now to get their lips to look like this. I'm talking about... Oh, look at these lips. Ooh, girl. Ooh, y'all see that sweat? Girl, I'm having a hot flash. Oh, my Jesus. Ooh. Y'all excuse me. I got to go deal with my African. Girl, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm down here having three kinds of fits. Whew. And my African turned off the heat. I mean, the air. Oh, he turned off the air, girl. Do, do y'all see my face? Oh, my Jesus. Okay, we're going to try to get through this. I, uh, look. Power. Power to the people. So, yes, the moral of the stories, ladies, be good to you. This time don't last always if you're feeling inadequate about yourself, if you feel like you don't measure up, if you feel like you don't have the best of, all the stuff you see across YouTube and the internet. Girl, live your life. Peace. 
the key is simplicity. So this is the moral of the story that I wanted to show you. And I'm really, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all old broad, you know, like me. We old broads. We done got to the point in life. <laughs> if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. I remember this girl told me at um at this job I was working. She said, um, because I was they was doing Christmas gifts. And I was like, oh, I want to be in the Christmas gift exchange. And so she said to me, she said, Well, I'm gonna talk to um the people in the group. And if we this is what she said. She said, if we like you, we'll let you in the group. I said, oh, <laughs> okay. And every time I said, I'd be like, hi. She'd be like, hey, run up to me. How you doing? Where you been? What you doing? Da -da -da -da. Uh, keep that same energy you had when y'all was vetting me. <laughs> that part. So, this is what I want to get into, ladies. Do you see this mirror? You see this mirror? I'm going to insert a clip. Um, De'Ara Taylor. She has some sunglasses that she just had a launch party for. So, I didn't get no invite. So, uh, anybody watching this that know the era, when you see her, uh, tell her, uh, yeah, I didn't get no invite. <laughs> that part. But I'm just glad. Girl, bad. I, girl, I don't drink. I, look, when I tell y'all I am a homebody, look, I done did it all. Look, y'all go back and check my videos out, girl, honey. You'll get bits and pieces of my life. I done did it all to the fullest. I took about, <laughs> I done did it all. Some stuff I can't say on here because I don't, somebody might be still looking for me. So anyway, um, this is what I wanted to show you. Now, I'm a good old-fashioned Goodwill girl. I grew up with next to nothing. But I had love. I had the love of my family. I had the love of my friends. I had the love of the Lord. Yes, I am living for the Lord. But listen, so I was watching this video of De'Ara. She was doing a closet tour. And I just started watching her. I just think she's just the cutest little girl. I seen her and um, she did... um. Her documentary, Made in Memphis. And I watched that. And honey, regular old family just like mine and yours. You know, so it's always a backstory. It ain't, you know, everything you see on here ain't always just what it is. You know, people didn't, you know, um, people who are lawyers and doctors and teachers and teachers aid and CNA, they wasn't born with those skills. Those skills were crafted. Like right now, my skill is being crafted on YouTube. Where it's going to go, I don't know. But I wasn't born learning how to work this camera. <laughs> Y'all go back and check that feelings video out, girl. I was ready to quit. I quit. Quit again. So, anyway, she has this same exact mirror, except for her lights light up across here. And But it's the same. It looks the same. If you check out her video, it's um, her closet tour. And it goes up and down like this. It looks the same in the back with the little plug. But my battery slots don't work. So I don't know if whoever had this, maybe they um, maybe they had the batteries in there too long, maybe, but for $2. <laughs> so you got a closet full of all kinds of stuff. Dior purses, the... Fendi, Fendi boot, all kinds of stuff. And we got the same mirror. Girl, that. So that's the moral of the stories, ladies. Yes, yeah, see that? See that? Yes. Okay, these are my grandbabies, Lauren and Kennedy. These are the little girls I'm praying I have an impact on shaping into little women. I love them, my babies. I went on there to order me a pair of um, uh, Lorve uh, glasses. The um, which ones? The uh, the main event, the black ones. Y'all, y'all see my um, my fun in the sun video about my sunglasses. Most of them are dark brown, mostly black. That's just how your girl is. But she had some on there. I don't know all the different names of them, but she had on like a cream pair or a green pair. Um, cream green. 
the black, the main event. And I forget, I think she had one more color. But anyway, um, the main event, when I went on there, they were sold out. And um, they were really, because you know, our mother, is, look, <laughs> I have to ration my coins. And she had a pair on there where, um, well, most of them were either 85 or 80. And so the ones I want the main event, I believe they were 80. And I was going to spend $80 for those because those glasses <laughs> are banking. And they said she sold out in like two minutes. The main event glasses sold out in like two minutes. The other glasses sold out in like nine or girl, don't give me the lying. So I'll check in a little while to see if it's um back on. And if it is, I will order me some. Um, I just will. It's not keeping up with anybody. Is I like them. And uh, mother is going to get some. Well, let me say, because, you know, mother got a way of making my African do stuff. So, <laughs> oh, girl, I use my powers for good. Yes. So, yes, that's the moral of the story with all the Dolce and Gabbana, all the, what else is it, Bodega, Bottega. The leathers, the furs, the all of that, jewelry, all of that. We got the same mirror. <laughs> okay. Find yourself content in where you are. And if you want to collect things, have nice things, don't do it for nobody else. Do it for you. If you're not doing it for you, you chasing a dream that you ain't never going to see come to fruition. I'm telling you, do it for you. It's an inside job, ladies. Yes. So now, that was our little get ready story time. Me talking to my little girl. Because you know, little girls do grow up. Okay? So I just want to thank you for watching this, port, watching this portion of the video. And so now we're going to get into a t-shirt. Because mother is so... I'm not going to say I'm cheap. I'm saying I'm, um, you know, at this time in life, I just, some things matter and some things don't, you know, having a roof over my head, having a comfortable space that I can call in this big old giant world that I can call mine. That means something to me. My family, that means something to me. My relationship with the God of my understanding, that means something to me. So the dynamics for me has changed from being that little girl to right now, 52, okay? So, anybody seeing this video? You see Deara tell her, yeah, I'm in the Atlanta area. Um, I was laying on my couch, my couch the day of the lunch party. So, <laughs> mother didn't see, uh, didn't go, but I seen your video, girl. You go, girl, congratulations. Congratulations, boo, you did that. All right, you are an inspiration to women, to girls all over the world. You did that. You let them know that any and everything is possible. Thank you. Thank you for even inspiring me. From me to you, Deira. Okay, so ladies, give me a minute. I'm going to take a pause for the cause because I need my camera to upload the picture so I could print it out. But what I could do while before I do that. Okay. So you see, I have my towel and I have my pillowcase and I have my shirt. I have some um I had a shirt that I did and I'll I'll get it once I stop the camera and come back on. Okay ladies, this is the shirt that I did. Ooh, let me move that back a little bit. I hope you can see it. Okay. I love it. I think it needs to be down a little bit more. But this is like some extra uh, paper that I didn't cut. Which I will be cutting off of this one. So this is how the shirt looks. It says subscribe to my channel. Sleep YouTube. It actually said four more things but I couldn't get them all in there. And this is... um. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. My lipstick, my lips, my heart, and my shoe. Hey, boo, boo, bougie. And this just says subscribe.
okay so that's this shirt i did this shirt the other day and like i said my husband ordered me some paper because this was some old paper i had okay since i'm working look it is what it is um oh let me turn my light back on <laughs> okay so what i did was ladies i printed it out because on the directions it tells you to print it out first on a piece of paper so i printed it out on a piece of paper it is backwards because once it go on the shirt like i said it's gonna iron on straight so this is just some directions it's telling you um the shirt what kind of um what time what kind of top to iron on make sure you have scissors iron your printer and pillowcase because it's nice and smooth but i put a towel up under mine so um this is our pre-cut or pre-print okay so i only had two new shirts that i brought i had one that i practiced on so i did go ahead and iron this out do i still have my iron on Ooh. Yes, I had to turn the heat on. I mean, uh, um, my my uh, ceiling fan on. And you know what? I'm so glad I did not get that taken out because the guy is waiting on me to come and actually do it. And uh, my husband was whining because he cold. Ooh, when he be gone, I mean, I know I'm not single, but it be something like it. I don't got to worry about nobody saying turn this down, turn this up, turn this around. Okay, so this is the actual paper, ladies. And what I am going to do is I'm going to trim my edges. I'm not going to tell y'all it's upside down. <laughs> I put it on upside down. So this is how it go. Um I'm wearing my shirt.